welcome back to my channel my name is Eugenia I want to show you a few fabrics that I grabbed so this is gonna be a fabric haul um, I'm really lucky I live really close to downtown LA uh, with a giant fashion district with many many fabric stores so I go there quite often because I make my own clothes and I make clothes for boutiques on Melrose and for like events and stuff so it's one of the things that I do so I want to share with you a few things that I got today so let's begin the first one up is this beautiful organza that I got it's stunning I want to show you um, I will also be showing it to you on the form I have a dress form right here but this is very beautiful it's sheer I might be using it for like a skirt I'm not sure yet but I like the way it drapes and it's just very beautiful and kind of summery and I love it. This is the first thing that I got. Okay, the next one up is this beautiful, um, this is the face, pink sheer polyester, like chiffon. Um, I love it so much. Um, it's gorgeous, it drapes beautifully as well. I was thinking to make curtains out of it really, but I'm not sure yet but I definitely love this fabric. I actually bought this fabric before and I ended up selling it. So I didn't get to make anything out of it, but maybe this time I'll make something. I'm usually not a fan of polyester when it comes to clothing because it's not as breathable, obviously, as natural fabrics, but it's just so Gucci. Here, I'll show you. This is how it looks. So this is rayon, super breathable non-stretchable at all doesn't stretch um perfect for summer dresses perfect for overalls i'm gonna make probably a dress out of this like a wrap wrap around dress i like it a lot this is nice it doesn't crinkle it's so nice to just throw it in the washer nothing ever is gonna happen to it so look at this like beautiful vivid and just so gorgeous stunning fabric so comfy guys so comfy so my problem is that when i go shopping i go shopping okay so i got a lot so this is very kind of reminds me aerosmith kind of um alicia silverstone dress kind of i don't know that was the vibe it gave me i love it. it's very 80s the tiny little rose is just looking so cute and again it's, it's another rayon uh, this is, I believe, is um, crinkled rayon. I might be wrong. I'm still kind of figuring out names in English for all the fabrics, to be honest with you. But I love it. It's perfect for a, a dress with buttons, probably, or something like that. So I'm not sure we'll be making out of it, but something... Or pants, like very comfy pants, you know? I can make something like that. The next one is... Oh my gosh, this is definitely Alicia Silverstone dress in the crying if you remember i was obsessed as a kid watching this over and over it's stunning it's another crinkle rayon most of the fabrics there by are like natural fiber because it's just so comfy on the body especially during summer no stretch hmm. not really um really nice very retro it, they only had one yard left so i only got one yard but this is my second time buying this fabric. It's really easy to make stuff out of it, for sure. It's very easy to sew with. So I highly recommend Rayon. Perfect. Okay, so the next one up is this beautiful tie-dye. This has some polyester in it, I believe, but I'm thinking it's just going to be gorgeous for some probably like, I don't know, kimono as well, or a robe. Or you can wear some you can make some sportswear out of it it's stunning i really like it and it's very modern i feel like if i were to combine it with some ribbons that has letters on it i think it's gonna look super cool it's gonna look very like edgy street style it can also look hippie but i don't want to go into hippie world i kind of want to go into sports meets this tie-dye i have something in mind <laughs> it's hard super stretchy four-way stretch you can do whatever you want with it like kind of like a waffly uh texture this is stunning okay that's another one that i 
really like. This is rayon as well. No cotton, really. I don't really buy cotton. I don't know why. It's just cotton is kind of too stiff, I guess. Maybe this is cottony, actually, but I feel like this is rayon. So look at this. I mean, just imagine dress. Imagine like a skirt or like a wraparound dress. Is it a wrap dress or wraparound dress? You tell me in the comments below, probably saying it all wrong, but this is, oh, I got a lot. Like I got like 13 yards of it. I'm not regretting one bit. I'm gonna use it all for sure. Or I, I'm also gonna sell some, but I'm gonna use a few yards for sure. Okay, oh my gosh, wait for it, wait for it. Look at this, come on. This is like, Oh my gosh, this is so Florence the machine and the machine vibe, Lana Del Rey. We're drinking wine on the coast somewhere at you know, in, in, in Manhattan Beach in LA, and you just, you know, and you're wearing this dress. You're wearing this dress and you're drinking a glass of wine and you made it yourself. And then I don't know, people like asking where you got the dress, and you're like, I made it myself. That kind of the vibes I'm I'm I am experiencing here. It's stunning, guys. This is rayon, another rayon. Oh my god. Like, you know, again, very Alicia Silverstone, very Liv Tyler. I don't know. That's kind of, I guess it's not 80s, it's 70s, right? Am I wrong? I mean, stunning. I got a lot. Okay, let's throw that on the ground, then that's a huge pile already. <laughs> the next one up very vintage vibes look at that i mean look at that this is crinkled rayon i believe um it's called also bubble rayon i'm not sure it's rayon it's that kind of rayon um this is how it looks on the inside and now they're stunning very flowy let me let me do the b-roll there you go let's do the <laughs> um but like a look A skirt imagine that skirt with a little bit of black lace and it's like it's um layered skirt um like a a skirt and then you just cut cut this piece cut another piece put it together it's like very gypsy you know that's what i'm thinking love it as well and this one actually was an interesting choice i don't usually buy this type of bandana fabric but i kind of fell for it look it has a border design on both ends. Let me show you. See, it's so you can play with it. Imagine you can make like a kimono, and that could be a sleeve. You know, you can you can you can turn this thing and kind of, you know, put it right here. And I just and it's again rayon. I mean, you can't go wrong with rayon. I mean, it's so nice on your body, and just it feels so nice on the skin. And I mean, look. It's just stunning. So, hold on, I'm not done. You think I'm done? I'm not done. Let me go get more. <laughs> okay. I also went a little overboard with this beauty, but this is very, it gives me very Prada vibes. I know it's cherries, but I don't know, it's giving me Prada. I don't know why I think Prada when I look at this rayon, but it is so gorgeous too. Again, supernatural. Supernatural, very natural, feels very nice on your skin, no stretch at all, perfect for a cute little, imagine, oh my god, you know what I just came up with? Imagine a black dress, black dress out of this fabric, a puff sleeve, and then instead of buttons, I can just find cherry buttons, and I can do little cherry buttons, like going right here, come on, that's gonna look so cute, or like little cherry earrings, maybe the buttons could be simple, but then you just wear cherry earrings, Oh my gosh, and like any barbecue you go, people's gonna just love this. You know, so comfy. That's my favorite, and I was contemplating. Watch, watch for this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Look at this. I mu it might not look as gorgeous on, on camera as it looks in real life, but this is actually silk. This is real silk. I had a feeling because when you go to the stores, it's not like Joanne's. Like in downtown LA, no one really labeling anything. It's just like one big, beautiful chaos. We go in and you don't know 
what are you gonna get right so people don't even speak english sometimes there so it's hard to communicate because they just won't tell you what kind of fabric is that and i suspected this to be silk but i didn't have a lighter on me and you know how to test if it's something's like natural fibers or not you would do a burn test and how fast it burns or once it burns if it crumbles or if it um, becomes like a plastic ball then it's synthetic but if it crumbles in your hands and it smells like human hair usually that's a natural fiber and I brought this baby home I did a lighter test and guess what this is silk so obsessed I'm making kimono for myself out of this a hundred percent I think it's gonna look really cool for fall like if I were to wear everything black underneath and then with this kimono or I can cut some pieces out and like you know maybe use boro stitching to incorporate this silk because the raw edge is very forgiving for silk it's like it's just giving it this beautiful kind of almost um vintage effect right so I'm okay with that it fraying and looking distorted and aged and weathered uh, that's perfect for boro you know what I'm talking the boro I don't I have a purse I made I don't know where it is right now but I will show you so this is it for this haul guys um I hope you enjoyed the video should I clean the table okay so this is it for this haul guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um please subscribe i'm gonna have more cool stuff coming your way i'm gonna be making a bunch of crazy outfits soon because um i have some stuff going on so i'm gonna be probably documenting that i have this gorgeous skirt that i'm working on i tied that in myself it was a black cotton this time and it was a very dark navy almost black like midnight blue okay cotton that i tie-dyed and then i made this giant circle skirt and i made a half circle and i merged them together don't ask me how it was a quite a process and i put some letters on it and some japanese lettering and it's it's cooking it's cooking right now it's 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 in the, my studio so you know it's coming um what else i'm taking clay classes now so it's gonna be clay stuff here anything artsy you know kind of like your one-stop shop for all art things and vlogs like downtown la and just cute coffee shops that's going to be all me your new favorite youtuber so please subscribe um and like and comment and share my channel i'm really hoping to build a beautiful community here and really hoping to inspire you guys to do some awesome stuff because we all deserve to express ourselves so have a lovely 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 week uh follow your dreams and i'll see you in my next one bye thank you so much for watching Bye bye